Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here in the shop today. Uh, it's getting time of the year for our baby, uh, our mama goats to have babies um, in the next couple of months. So what we want to be able to do is get them used to being on a milking stand. Now I gave my last milking stand to two young girls who had goats and uh, so I'm building a new one. And I thought I'd take you along on this journey of how I design my milk stands and the dimensions that I use. I'm going to be mainly using refurbished material here on the homestead because I don't want to have to go spend a bunch of money on this thing. Uh, there's no need in it. It's going to get filthy. Uh, it's going to go in the barn. So there's no need in buying a bunch of fancy new stuff. So I'm just refurbishing stuff that I already have here. So I'm going to turn around with the camera and I'm going to show you where I'm at with it and the, dim the dimensions and the measurements of each piece that I've uh, used so far uh, on this particular project. This is the framework for the bottom of it here now. These are two by eights that you see right here treated because they're going to be sitting on the ground and anything in the deep south that you stick on the ground it better be treated. If not by tomorrow it'll have termites in it. So these are two by eights. They're 15 and a half inches long. Now that's on that's for a reason. Uh, the comfortable height for sitting in chairs is usually 16 inches. Anytime I built anything furniture or anything for people I usually built it 16 inches high, so I did 15 and a half on this, which is more than more than high enough. Be 16, a little over 16 by the time I add the, the top on this. Uh, these are two by sixes. The framework is made out of two by sixes. Now they're not treated because they're not going to be against the ground. Uh, the end ones here are butt jointed from here all the way across to the other side. These are 21 and a half inches wide. Now, there's one on each end, that one and this one. The runners on the sides here now, you've got one here and you've got one over there. Those are 41 and a quarter inches long. And notice they go on the outside of this right here. They don't they don't butt on the inside, they go on the outside. The legs are nailed from the inside and from the ends here to help stabilize them. Now you'll notice in this right here, I have a notch cut in this. This notch is 7 eighths of an inch deep. It is 12 inches wide. Uh, this will be, uh, there will be a purpose for this later I'm going to show you. But this, I put this in the center of this whole platform system that I've built here. Now. What I did was I measured to the center of this right here and I, I measured six inches this way and six inches that way and got my 12 inches for that. And then I had a piece of plywood here. This is an old scrap piece of plywood. I'm refurbishing it. I went ahead and cut it to the correct dimensions. Now the, I'm going to take the tape measure here and show you. This one is 26 you see that is 26 and a quarter. The camera will focus here. Uh, maybe it's not, but it's 26 and a quarter on both ends that way. And it is 42 inches this away. Now, the reason for that is when I set this on top of that stand down here, I won't one end of it to hang over three quarters of an inch. I want the sides to hang over three quarters of an inch on each side, but I want this end down here to be flush. And there's a reason for that, and we'll talk about it in a minute. And when I put it on the stand, you'll see what I'm talking about, because I'm going to put it on the stand. I'm going to go ahead and screw it down. I don't use any kind of glue or anything, because if I ever have to replace the top, I'll just be able to take it back up and take it off. Um, but that's what we're fixing to do is take this piece and put it on that down there. Now, being I'm out here filming by myself, I'm not going to be able to show you, you know, me picking it up, setting it on it and all that stuff. I could if I'd have brought the tripod, but that's way at the house and I'm in the shop. So we're not going to go through that right now. But when I get it put on there, you'll see it and I'll go back and explain every little detail. Okay, guys, I've got this end. This end is all flush across here. Left that one flush. We have a little bit of an overhang here. We have an overhang here. And we have an overhang all the way across this end. And we have this 
slot that you see, see right here. We're gonna talk about that in a little while. What I'm fixing to do, that's a 12 inch wide slot. Now I'm fixing to move some of my stuff out of the way here. I'm fixing to take a piece of scrap plywood that I have here. I'm fixing to cut this piece of plywood 12 inches wide. And we're going to cut it the full length that it is now. Let's just see what we've got here. Because we're just refurbishing stuff. Well, if I can get my tape measure to pull out. There we go. Okay, it says it's 23 and a half inches long. Oh, I think we'll leave it 23 and a half inches. Just because it, do it doesn't really matter. 24 would have worked perfect, but 23 and a half will work. And I will show you in just a minute what this is for. This piece of plywood, I dog eared the corners off two inches at a 45 degree angle. I cut another piece of treated two by eight that was scrap out here, 14 and a half inches long, screwed it to the bottom of that with four screws. And what this is for is this piece in the slot that you see up under there, this is made to slide into that. So you can slide it in when not in use, and you can slide it back out when you get ready to milk. This is the place you sit. Now we're gonna, we're gonna screw a cleat under the bottom of it under there. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But when you're milking up on the, the goats up on the stand here and you're right-handed, which I am, the seat is here. It's at a comfortable height. You can reach and reach up under the goat and you can milk and, and, and uh, be able to have a place to sit so you don't have to squat or put a stool down or anything like this. And when you get through, this just slides back up out of the way. The goats is not up on it. You're not having to sit where the goats hooves have put goat manure and all that kind of crap all over it. It's just out of the way. And then when you get ready to use it, you can just reach up and you can reach and grab it and you can retrieve your bench out from under it. Now I'm gonna screw the cleat under the bottom of this here. I'm gonna flip it up on its side and I'm gonna show you screwing the cleat on that. What that does is that keeps it, when you grab this and you go to slide it out, it keeps you from pulling the whole bench all the way out. It catches on the back side and prevents that. This is what the, uh, the leg looks like, the, the bench looks like screwed in and slid in from this angle. Coming down, here's the cleat I talked about right here, screwed across right there. And the reason I made this the length I did is because where it wouldn't hit the other side. And now when we, I'm gonna flip it back up on its side, and I'm, well I can, I can do it just showing you here. When this slides out, like this, the cleat catches it right there, so it can't pull out on you slide that back down in there and what this is this is your milking stool it's a built-in milking stool on the goat stand so that you don't have to carry one with you everywhere you go or have to squat down the older you get the more comfortable you want to make these things so that you don't have to have a bunch of uh, things going on here and this will just get it where I can get a hold to it you can just slide it right out Bam, there you are. And that's what it looks like sitting there. Your own milking stool made onto your goat stand. Now we're fixing to start designing the end to go on it here where you put your goat's head through it here. I've got to go through my material right quick and look and see what I have to work with so that um, I'll know what I've got to use and then try to design whatever it is I need here I have the design in mind, I just got to see if I've got the stuff to do it with. Okay guys, we found us a piece of plywood here. Um, it's 16 inches wide. What I've done was I come down three and a half inches from the top, made me a line across. I wanted an eight inch circumference so a goat could stick its head through with no problems, not have to worry about getting injured. I took my compass here and I set it at four inches down, I run the compass completely around it, made my mark. I followed the center line of this compass all the way down. This is eight inches from here to 
here is eight. A goat only needs a four inch wide place to stick its neck down through, so I measure two inches on each side of this line. So therefore I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut the four inch place out. And then from here to this line is 16 inches. This is the top of the milk stand. This is the bottom of the milk stand. I'm going to use this to screw it to it all the way across to help stabilize it. And then right about here is where we're going to put our plywood coming out. We're going to put our, uh, uh, our, our feeding trough can that we're going to be putting in there. So let me get all this cut out. I'm going to use a jigsaw to cut all this out up here and a skill saw and cut this here. And, you know, we'll cut this off down here. And once I get it all cut out, I'll take it to the milk stand and actually mount it. And we'll talk about it a little bit more from that point on. Now the overall height of this thing from here down to the bottom of the milk stand is 46 inches. It's 39 and a half inches from here to the top of it up here. Um, in case you're wondering, the average goat stands about 32 inches high to the center of the hole to here. And that gives plenty of room. Some goats are taller, some are shorter, but 32 inches seems to be the common measurement for my goats to be able to get their heads through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and get it all cut out and we'll show you how we get it mounted. Okay guys, here we are with the hole cut out now and mounted on the stand. And yes, this was a piece of refurbished plywood. It has white paint on it. Uh, it's okay because we're going to all paint it one solid color before it's all over with. There's our three and a half inches from the top. This is it mounted. We'll come around, I'm going to show you. What we did was we centered it up on the stand on the back side, it looks like this coming down and it just it screws to the back of the stand like that right there. Makes it fairly sturdy. We're going to be putting a couple of more braces on it. We're going to be mounting a feeding thing right here so the goats can put their head through and actually feed right there. Okay guys, we've now installed our corner braces on this here. Uh, we just brought from here out to here and we came up eight inches high on the sides. On both of them we glued them. All of it's been glued and we put screws in it to hold it. So shouldn't be a problem. We've got our uh, bucket system here already. Um, we just have a small bucket here. We're going to be, we cut the hole where it'll sit down in there. Goats can stick their head in right here. Come down, be able to eat. Next thing we're going to do is on the front of this here, we're going to put a latching system to come down over the top of the goat's head so that it cannot pull its head out. And we're going to make this here probably in between here a little more adjustable. This is for a big goat. We're going to make it where if a goat is a little bit smaller, um, we need to work on it. We're going to try to fix it where we can also close that up and narrow it up where they can actually hold them down uh, if we have to trim hooves or whatever. So we're going to begin building that next. This is what it looks like from this side of the stand and we'll show you when we come around here. This is what we've done. Our goats are not fully mature yet. They're only a year old and uh, their neck fits perfect in a three inch hole but the, as they mature we'll need the four inches. They grow and maybe a big ram or something We'll need the four inch for the neck for that. So I've got this, I've screwed this piece of wood down to actually shrink that down. And this is the latch system. Now the way I've done this is I took a, uh, I rounded the end of a one by, one by four off. I drilled me a hole. I put a washer between that on the bolt in there and I double nutted it right now until I have time to go to town and get me a lock nut to go on it. But what this does is, is you pick this up, it will hold itself because it's kind of tight as a goat sticks its head through here and goes down to eat out of this, what we'll do is we'll just close this down and we'll take the, uh, the latch and the latch is kind of snug right there. It won't come back out. And that way the goat can't bang its head back up and open up. It's kind of, it's locked in here. It can't move until we get ready to let it out. Then we'll just lock that up and we'll grab this we'll pull it up out of the way. I haven't made my mind up yet whether I want to uh, uh, put 
put a handle out here or not to grab it by to pick it up or if I'll just reach and grab it I think we may be overthinking it by putting a handle but we'll wait and see how it goes uh, how aggravating it is um, you know when you're milking uh, time is everything because when they start eating in here you want to put just enough food in here to get through the milking you don't want to actually overfeed the animal and sometimes you know you can get frustrated if it's not milking good and you can try to get this a loose and I mean you might can just grab this and, and pull it up uh, we'll we'll just have to see but but guys that's basically the milk stand coming around we're gonna go ahead and paint it uh, I think that that would be, you know, would be a good thing to do because this is this can't sit out in the weather. This is uh, not any kind of treated wood up here. This bottom down here is definitely not. So um, this bottom is three quarter inch plywood, by the way, in case I didn't mention that earlier. So guys, uh, basically that's it. That's our um, our goat milking stand. And don't forget our our little pull out leg here that we pull out to sit on um, that right there is worth a lot of money when it comes to milking goats is having somewhere to sit and sit comfortably it means everything I've milked goats most of my adult life and I can tell you it, it means a lot to have a good comfortable seat to sit on and not have to try to squat down Especially once you start getting some age on you and your knees don't work as well. It's just a lot easier to sit there. You can move your bucket around a lot simpler than what it is to try to squat down and do it. So just an overview of it one more time. Kind of show you what it looks like. Um, you know, this is a little bit, this is not, it may bounce a little bit, but it's not going to come off of there. If you got a goat that's that wild, uh, it probably don't need to be on a milking stand. <laughs> Um, we have a squeeze chute inside the barn there for goats if we need it. So this is the one we will be using. We've got to get her painted, get her ready for the goats to start being fed on. Okay, guys, I couldn't resist it. I found a little pot handle over there in my thing, and I put it up here so I could grab that and slide it in and out. Uh, I don't think a goat would get his foot hung in or anything like that. So that's another addition I put on here. Hope y'all have enjoyed the building of the goat stand for milking. Thank y'all from Deep South Homestead.